Hello. We have our game working. So it is alternate. Right? And we are filling this up absolutely correctly. So what is the next thing we want to do is that every time we play if you the code we have written every time the player plays we check board for when because that's where the game stops so let's get into coding for this block check board for when so we're going to come to our tic-tac-toe board and we are going to pick up this event that when I receive check port for win, I have to do something. Now let's get to what is it that we have to do. So primarily we have to check if these values in either of the rows, in either of the columns, in diagonals are same values. And they should be either 0 or x, you know, all x is all zeros. And because we have initialized this with uh, 8, right? So initially, of course, everything is going to be same. So we want to not use that. So let's start it. Let's get started with the coding. So what we are saying is so typically the best thing is to write it as a block. So let's create a block. So we are going to call the block check three values. Yeah. So let's define this check three values. So the first thing we are checking is that this value is not eight. So which value is not eight? The item. whichever value which we are checking against is not it not equal to it then what do we want to check so we have to still decide what goes in here right now we want to check if it is this is equal to this equal to this so if any of this is not equivalent, then it's not a win. So we are going to pick up this operator, but we need three equal to's. And this has provision of using only two equal to's. So what we need is a AND operator. So we have two equal to's and then repeat that here basically what we are saying if item one of this I'm doing it for the first row to start with is equal to item two and I'm going to duplicate this entire thing put it here yeah, it's nice really long has to just fit in here and item 2 is equal to item 3 well yeah I can use 1 or 2 doesn't matter right so we have to make sure that 1 is equal to 2 and 2 is equal to 3 in that case how will so just for the testing purpose right now 
we will just play a quick sound so we will just play uh, oh I missed to put the condition there so let's put the condition so if right yeah sometimes when it becomes so long and say it so this entire condition is going to get inside <coughs> this we will just play a sound hmm. so when I receive check port for when I am going to call this so let's check it out so let's make it happen first So we check that work for x, let's check that for the 0. Right? So we know that row 1 is working. Of course, in this case, this finished first. This should have got the cheer. But well, we haven't coded it for all the rows yet. See, now we have a block. We know it works. Right? And we have a code of block we have a block of code now we just have to ensure that we pass it the correct values here right that's pretty much it so so what we are going to do is we are going to make this block to accept three values so that's one two three so this is cell one cell 2, cell 3 right and now I will just Now there's one thing we have to verify like just just go through the logic here also if what if the first one is not 8 and the second one is 8 so anyway this condition would be bad so we are fine so cell 1 cell through and cell 3 so now our function is this block this function is truly reusable so now we can put here 1 2 Mm. that's one two three and if we just duplicate it and make a check we just duplicate it and make a check for four five six and then we duplicate it so that's the three rows now let's do this for the three columns so that would be one four seven then the second column that is two five is two five and eight then the third one that is three six and nine And then the two diagonals. So that is one, five, and nine. And the other diagonal is three, five, seven. Let's play the diagonal first. Hmm. That didn't work. Ah, just look at the bug. Can any of you spot it? So I've got cell 1, cell 2, cell 3. Just look at this. This is item 3. So it's only checking against that. So 
we need cell 3 and cell 2 hmm Yeah, so now you want to go and do this test for everything. After the game is played, we should not allow the user to click. One simple way to do is that when the sprite clicked, we check always first for a variable if the game is over if it is not over rather only then we allow the clicks otherwise we don't right as the next thing we need typically when you play you want to show visibly by a line cutting across 